Hello. Welcome to Sunday night. It's Jill Lancet. Um, how's your weekend been? I am fresh from uh, one of my monthly classes and we had a blast. We had a really lovely day. There is nothing quite like getting together with a group of people and crafting. Um, I don't have coffee because I coffeed myself out. <laughs> I've had my limit. Uh, I try to have one coffee a day. Usually it's like this big, but one a day. Now look, uh, I'm going to make some Christmas cards, but I'm going to use some paper that you would not necessarily associate with Christmas. Now this is one of the beautiful new, um, oh gosh, I don't even know what it's called. All the details will be in the, uh, you know, description below because, duh, I forgot. But look how beautiful this paper is. Now, one side is uh, blue, one side is red. You've got these, all these gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Um, beautiful. Look, you, you would be hard pressed to not find something in here that you would like. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Oh, here's the here's the name of it. Dear oh dear. It is called Oh my goodness. Oh, clearly I didn't have enough coffee. Um Regal Winter. Now this is a new um paper that's coming out in the new catalogue that will be here very, very soon, folks. You'll be able to go to my online um store there. And you'll be able to download the catalog so you can keep it um, online you also get this other packet of paper that goes with this suite of products and they are foiled look at them they're single-sided but they're absolutely gorgeous look at that one look at that one i wish you could just buy that one a whole packet of that one that is my favorite Anyway, let me get all this glary stuff out of the way and I'll show you um, a Christmas card that quite possibly... Oh, look, you know what? I'm going to put that over there like that. You realise it's going to fall down. But anyway, so what I've used today are these gorgeous, gorgeous um, brushed gold cards and envelopes. Now you get... 20 cards and 20 envelopes. Look at the envelopes. They're beautiful. And they're very, very foil. Look at them. Now, you could cut those up. Um, here are the cards. Um, guess what? Front and back. Now, 20 cards. You could make 40 cards. Plus, if you cut up the envelopes, who knows? Who knows how many you could make. But I'm going to show you how I made this card. And I'm going to give you three different views of it. And we're going to get get to getting right now. So I've got everything here, I hope. I hope. Famous last words. Now, this here is the first one I made. Now, I've made one in uh, metric. And I've made one in US letter size. I will give you all the dimensions for both. Um, of course, if you just want to use them as a card, there's no issue. Just go ahead and use it as a card because you already have an envelope to fit. Now, this is the difference between our, our cards, okay? This is a standard metric card. It does not fit into the envelope. So if you just wanted to use the cards, just like this, as is, perfect, because you'll have an envelope to fit. But I'm greedy. I want to get more out of my packet of cards. So very, very, very simple Christmas card. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's the uh, A41 metric. Here is the US letter size, which has been stepped up just a little bit. I've embossed that with an embossing folder. That's the only difference apart from the fact that I've used a red uh, ch cherry cobbler on this border and I've used a, a garden green on this one. But 
other than the embossing, they're pretty much identical. But here's the difference. One is the US letter size and one is metric. So there's the two. We'll go through them again. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna step it up just one more little bit. So let's get to getting, okay? So the first thing I want to do is to cut my card base. Now, as I said, I can get two cards out of this if I cut this down. So if you're using metric. Just take your card base and you want to cut this down to 9.7 centimetres. Now, let's get rid of that fold first, That's that score. I think you can see it there. I think you can see it. So we're just going to chop straight down there, okay? Actually, I'm just chopping a little bit on this side of it. I want to keep as much of the gold as I can. So with the other half, you can see the score line is still on there. I would do exactly the same thing with my second card. Okay, so I want to cut this down to uh, 9.7 centimetres. So 9.7 centimetres. So there's nine, there's five. One, two, there is seven. 9.7 centimetres. I'm cutting off... Uh, from the white the white side and then I want to I'm just going to turn that down a bit sorry uh, and then I want to cut this down to 14 centimeters now it's not far off 14 centimeters in fact it's exactly 14 centimeters okay so I really don't have to cut the width now if you are in the US you will cut this down to three and seven eighths. This way, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay, so that will give you uh, room to put a beautiful little um, border on that. Now, I've done one in green and one in red because, you know, sometimes you might not have enough of one colour. So, yeah. Okay, so in the US, uh, three seven eighths by five and one eighth. In metric, it is 14 centimetres, so you don't have to cut it because it's already 14 centimetres. And then you need to cut it 9.7 centimetres. Now, I need um, card mat one, and that is in both countries. Now, if you do not have these, why don't you have them? They're free. I'm giving them away. All you need to do is email me. Email me here, tilly2145 at gmail.com. And I will send you the PDF. Uh, it will be one sheet of paper and it will contain both US letter size and metric. Have them both. Okay, uh, because if you're watching me and I'm telling you this, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. So card mat one, in metric it is 10 centimetres by 14.3 and in the US it is 4 inches by 5 and a quarter. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had a mental mental blink but anyway so this is metric so yep we've got that really tiny little border and now we're going to do some other things um i have also a strip of the garden green and it is the width of this card so in this case it is 14 centimeters and it is is uh, 1.5 centimetres wide. If you're in the US, I've got a little cheat sheet here and I, I'm just looking at it now. If you're in the US, it is 5 and 1 eighth by 9 sixteenths. And then I've just literally cut a strip from that gorgeous paper. In um, metric, it is 1 centimetre by the 14 centimetres, I've got to trim it down. In the US, it is five 
and one eighth by three eighths of an inch. Okay, so I will trim that down now. Just bear with me for two seconds. My phone's making a funny noise and I've it's new, so I don't know what's going on. Um, so 14 centimetres, so I want to trim this to 14 centimetres, okay? So popping it in there, just chopping it off. And there we go. Now, I have that, I have that. I'm going to um, do some stamping and then I'm going to do some embossing on this. So just bear with me for a minute. Now, um, I'm going to do this one in green and we'll compare them all at the end. So I just want to clean this stamp because, yeah, the last colour was red. I don't really want it in red this time. I just want it in green. So I'm just going to take that off. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I hate spending unnecessary money. Although my husband seems to think the opposite, but yeah, I'd rather spend my money on things I want. Um, so I buy these, I buy them, you get them in a little packet. Um, I think there's five, I'm just trying to find the packet. They come uninked, uninked stamp and spots. And there are five in there. And I just buy the reinker and I ink my own, okay? Um, it's just, to me, it's more economical. Um, these stamp just as well as the big ones. So I'm going to ink this up. And it doesn't even look like there's ink on it now because it's already stained with the red. I used the cherry cobbler on it before. So let's line this up. Now, I want it to be along here. So just bear with me for a second. Just got half a stamp and uh, pierce mat here. Just bear with me if my head gets in the way, but I want to line this up with the bottom of the card and I want to do it straight, reasonably straight. Now these stamps are from this stamp set here, which is called Happy Little Things. Now, it's mostly birthday, um, things like that. But in there was a peaceful season. So I've teamed it up with the Celebrate. This one, you get two different Celebrates. So I've teamed it up with that one. And I've put them on the same block, lined them up quick. Now, if you want to make these cards and you like, you want to do it in a hurry, you can set this up on your stamping platform or put them together on a block like I have here. So that's that. Now I'm going to emboss that. Now I might use a different embossing folder. Let me see what embossing folders I have. Um, what about this one? Let's see what this one looks like. This is one of the um, basic ones. We will compare, so I'm going to pop that straight in there like that. Now, there is a line that you can line that up with. Sometimes it's easier to do it from the back. You can see the line there. I'm going to line that up. Now, just bear with me while I just run that through, okay? My, um, my big emboss, um, what do you call it? embossing machine is over here to the side so just bear with me it's electronic so yeah just talk amongst yourselves for a second and I'll I'll get this going now the thing is um, you can't emboss that until you've actually stamped it so, yeah, hang on, I got my sandwich wrong. Okay, hang on. <coughs> so, I'm embossing that, and we'll see how that comes out. I haven't tried this, this particular embossing folder.
right, let's have a look. Might be too much. Might be too distracting. I don't know. Big reveal. <gasps> look at it. I like it. So now we've got that, especially on the gold. Look how the gold came out. Wow. Okay, let's pop that up there. Um, so now I've got my little strips. I'm going to put this together. But this time I'm going to add some. I just I bought this in like the $2 shop. It's just some gold twine. So I'm going to put that around there. So let me glue this on here first. So I'm going to glue this strip on. Um, you don't need a terrible lot of glue. I say that every time. And I mean it. <laughs> right, hold on. Yeah, but we had a great day. I will post um, photos of the cards onto my Facebook page. So that we made today in the class. Um, it's using a new another new stamp set, but it is a close to my heart um, stamp set. Now I've got that glued on there. Now I want to somehow try and wrap this around. I, I haven't thought, thought this through, folks. Okay. So just bear with me. I think I need to tie a bow as well. Um, but yeah, just tear and tape. I think tear and tape. I think that's what I need, tear and tape. I put a bit on the back. And just hold your horses, honey, while I tear that off. I'm not very good at that. I don't know. I must not have strength in my hands or something. I don't know. But anyway, some days I struggle with that. Some days I'm a champion. Okay, let's have a look. Now I need my take your pick because I need to pick that off. So much easier with this thing. Okay, there's one. Here's the other one. Hang on. There we go. Okay, now... I'm going to snip that off because I tied a knot in it to stop it from unraveling. Um, yeah, hang on. So I want a fair bit of this to be captured in that. And I think I might put... Oh, no, we might secure it with a glue dot. As I said, I haven't really thought this through, guys. So let's see. Let's see how I go. Hang on. Hold on. So we'll just pop that in there like that. Okay. Right. Snip that off. And I might actually pop that up on um, dimensionals, this one. So let's have a look. What have we got dimensional-wise? Oh, I've got some strips. have a look oh that's going to work out well oh how good is that I just need to snip that off a bit hang on yep okay there's one strip here's another strip and I'm putting that either side of that um, gold twine oh dear when it sticks, it sticks, especially into tear and tape. So there we go. Look at that. Genius. Pure genius. Okay. Um, now what else was I going to do? Oh, I was going to put tie bow. So what I might do is I might double this. Um, double it like that. And look, I've got this great big spool of this stuff, so that's going to last me forever, isn't it? Okay, so rabbit ears. I always do rabbit ears. I don't know how um, 
you tie knots, but that's how I do it. And I've always found it, oh, I was just going to say, I always found it successful right up until it wasn't. Hold on, let's go. Right, through there. And then what I do is I flip this bit over and then I pull it tight. Okay, so now you can faff about with this and just make that as long or as short as you want. I'm going to pop that on there. I think that's brilliant. Okay, so now I'm going to stick this on. No, I think I'll stick it on there first before I do anything else. How's that? Okay, now this is lumpy and bumpy, so I'm going to use some um, liquid glue because, yeah, I don't want this coming unstuck. Now those strips are a little bit high, those um, dimensional strips, so yeah, this card's going to have quite a bit of dimension. Let's have a look here. Okay, so far, so good. Now that's going to go on there like that. So I need to take these off. Now, this is where, this is really, really a good trick to do. So I'm, I'm taking off a little bit. I'm folding them back like that. Then holding that up, I'm going to line this end up here. Now that's not stuck down up here. But when I'm happy with where it is, and I hope that's straight because I can't see a thing. Right, now I'm going to pull this one out. While I'm holding it, I'm going to pull that out. And that's stuck down for me. Oh, crooked as. Let's see if I can... Oop. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, dear. You know... If putting things straight was an Olympic sport, I'd I'd never win a medal, honestly. Okay, so that's on there now. Um, and I think just this bow we'll put on with a glue dot. What do you reckon? Where are the glue dots? Where are the glue dots? Oh, stop looking. I found them. Right. So we might put one under there. So we'll just get this and we'll just kind of roll that up. Pop that under there so that it holds that in place. And then we'll put this uh, bow onto a glue dot just like that. And if I have to, I'll turn the glue dot back on itself so that it's out of the way. And that can go on there like that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Glue it onto a card base. That would help, wouldn't it? If I had a card base. Now, let's fold this. And give that a good uh, crease with your bone folder. I'm going to glue that onto there. Oh, wow. You know what? That came out of nothing. And it's pretty spectacular in real life. Bit of glue. Right. Uh, and I'm thinking this was fairly quick. I could be wrong. <laughs> I generally am. Um, oh, my gosh. And now I want to put some of these beautiful, um, what are they called? Neutrals sequins. Um, I've got some gold ones here. Looks like I'm, I'm going to need another pack. Oh, look, that's annoying me. Oh, blue dot. Glue dot to the rescue. Let's just roll this one up just like that. 
there we go. Pop that on there like that. And put that in there. There we go. It's kind of holding it secure now. And I'll put these on here. Now, where did I put them? Where are the two cards? Okay, I'll do them consistently the same. Now, this is lumpy and bumpy. So sometimes I will actually pop a glue dot, just like a, a dot of glue, I mean. Not a glue dot. Ugh. And sit that in the glue and then put the second one on just about there because it's a bit lumpy and bumpy. Um, let's put the big one under there. Here we go, into the glue. And we'll put another one over here. Ah. And put a tiny one on. Now I'm going to get all three of them together. And we will compare. Just let me get all this stuff out of the way. So we've got a bit of room. And, yeah. Now, don't forget about these um, card mats. It's got all the measurements on there, and, yeah, away you go. Right. Here we go. This is uh, the first one I made, rather plain. No embossing. No um, gold twine quite lovely in and of itself um that the gold cards that i chopped up um really really do shine and come into their own the second one which is in a us letter size which i will put all the measurements below um has been embossed no twine this time i've used the green um this one has the red the cherry cobbler border so there's those two. And then the one we just made where I've used that embossing folder, I've added the twine and I've raised that border up. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Let me see what you can see. Bear with me. Oh yeah, you can see them all. Okay, so card number one, very simple, very plain. Card number two or card number three. Which one do you think is your favourite? Look at the texture on that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the texture on that. And this one, just because it's plainer, doesn't mean it isn't any less spectacular. So let me know. One, two or three. And thank you so much for joining me tonight and i'll see you guys all on thursday don't forget that is my email address tilly2145 at gmail.com if you want those um matte templates uh, you can cut them out yourself as i have done but i i find these extremely useful when i'm designing cards and when I'm making cards even, I don't have to think about the measurements because they're all there for me. And these were the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous um, brushed gold cards and envelopes. Now, I'm sure you could imagine using the envelopes as well, but um, that's what I've done today. I've taken this piece of half of the front of the card and I've created these cards so thank you very much let me know what you think the 15% uh, designer series paper ends at the end of this month so if you do want something don't wait too long um, and I'll see you guys all on Thursday oh yeah by the way a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can share this. I'm happy for you to share this. But I would like a thumbs up. Um, so thank you so much. And if you'd like to donate to the Canamaluca Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre. That is totally up to you. Um, 
you can donate here all the details will be in um the description below but yeah um not bad for a for a sort of like a last minute edition that twine i think it looks lovely okay i'll talk to you soon and stay kind i'll talk to you bye